Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I would like to show you how to replace the temperature blender actuator on this 2016 Ford F-150 XLT with the dual climate control. So from 2016 up to 2020, I believe, because the dust design looked the same and it's dual climate control. I don't think they were changing anything much inside the dust. So this one, the one I'm going to replace for the passenger side doesn't have heat and driver side and passenger side they have two different um, temperature blender actuator okay so i'm going to show you which one uh, the upper one or the lower one for the passenger side here i have the wiring diagram you can see um, right side temperature blender actuator upper right side of the HVAC unit and the left side temperature control which is the driver side at the lower of the HVAC unit so right side they're both at the right side so it's like somewhere on this right side and the passenger side control is upper the driver side is lower that's based on the wiring diagram that's a uh, one for the driver side temperature control actuator so straight up straight up there gonna be somewhere up here on the dash somewhere up here okay first I'm going to remove the speaker cover with this plastic clip remover so helping me not scratching anything so remove this speaker cover first and it's a two screw underneath this cover. The two screw right there. And the screw is seven millimeter. So it's just a clip in the front here and the whole speaker tray coming out so after remove this tray just to get into the two screw so I can remove this cover and this cover coming out first and this one coming out after because this one kind of like sitting underneath this cover And after the two screw is off, this whole cover is just a clip. We just need to carefully pry this forward. Okay, so it's come up and behind is only two big harness connector plug in one here and one here. And the clip for this one is right underneath and we press on it and it's pull it out very easy and this one clip is right there we push on this and we can unplug it as well oh and then in the top there's two more and the clip for this is just a little a little one on the side here right there and this one also there okay now i need to take two more screw out at the bottom one here one here to get this plastic out now i can to go to pull out this uh, van the whole cover all the way down here start from the center Okay, before I'm going to pull this one out, look like I have to pull this cover out and also this one. Yeah, this whole thing have to come out because there's something 
uh, try to stop this piece from come out in here. I have to pull this one out. There. Yeah, so it's a clip in here that's clipped into this piece. Now I'm pulling this cover off. This cover is only clipped as well. There's no screw. Now, look like I'm free to pull this one out. Okay. The two connector plug in right here. So unplug that. Okay, now I got the flashlight in there so I can show you the actuator inside. So this air vent right here, it flexes enough so I can just push this to the side like this because it soft, it flexes enough so I can put my hand in there to uh, grab and feel the actuator. It's inside there, you, you I can see. Let me zoom a little bit. Now oh, it's very hard to see. I will put camera inside there so it's easy to see. Right there, actuator. The two screw and the plug in. So we're going to push that red tab, that locking tab on the wiring connector pulls it out and there's a um, clip the clip pulls that clip down and pulls it out T20 T20 that's uh, the tool that we're going to take it out so I'm gonna use this because the screw is not too tight so with my finger I can undo the screw very easy okay now I have to put my hand inside Better with the long sleeve so it's not scratching my hand. Yeah, I got the wiring unplugged. Okay, I got one screw out. So I just undo the screw by by halfway or more than half and have to undo it by my hand so I'm not dropping the screw down there and I can't find the one that it's like this see there's a screw okay second screw coming out and now I'm gonna pull the actuator out Here, that's the actuator. And on underneath the actuator, there's a, another piece like this. Just make sure when you pull the actuator out straight and don't make this piece drop down to one of like the corner inside it, it's gonna be hard to get. So this one was sitting down like this. You can see there's a gear and one of like the missing gear or master gear or something. So it's sitting like this. And when the actuator turn, this one, this piece turn and the blender kind of like run along this one to open and close. Yeah, so I have to put this one in very careful, put it down, make sure the blender um, tab coming out sit inside this one yeah that's another thing you have to pay attention now I can try to put this one down first and put actuator after 
Now I put the camera inside so you guys can see what it looks like when the actuator and this uh, little piece is out. Yeah, it looks like that. Now we put this piece in first. Let's make sure it those tap sit inside that, and I can turn it around and see. Make sure it proper. And here's the old actuator, so it facing that direction. But when I pull this one out, and it's sitting like this, right? Sitting like that. But the new actuator, you make this one sitting like this. So I have to put this one in and turn it that way. So that's easy when I put this new actuator in, it just slide down so I don't have to turn it around in there. Got that piece in now, I put the camera in there so it can show you how that piece stay like that. Right now I can put the actuator in. Right now I just screw it in, not tightening it yet. But the new actuator is in. And I plug it in. So now I just need to tighten the screw down. And um, kind of like plug everything in and I can test it. It's a little bit tricky to put that little piece uh, underneath below this actuator have to put that piece in and turn it around to find the proper uh, position for the new actuator go in have to look and line up for this master spline right here to see where that new actuator in what position and I can turn that little piece underneath this like and I just slide down uh, so it Align with the pin so it's easy and now I got the screw that screwed in and now I just need to tighten the screw and I can just plug everything in and uh, start the vehicle and test it make sure it works before I put back everything okay I've got the engine running right now and I just plug it everything in any electrical except the speaker so engine running about 10 minutes 15 minutes now it's like almost to normal operating temperature and here i got this one i got ac on right now and you can see plus 10 on its passenger side and driver size also yeah. Okay, now let's go in to heat. Turn the heat on to high. Now, I don't have to check the driver side because it was good. The passenger side, the one that passenger side, the one that need heat. So heat going up. Yeah. Plus 30 now, keep going up. Yeah. Oof, 40. Yeah, got very good heat. And just need more airflow. Very good. So I'm going to back to coal. AC is still on. See, going down very quick. Yeah, so I know it's working. 100%. Okay. Now I just need to uh, put back everything very straightforward. I'm sure everybody can go from here. Excellent. Thank you, you guys, so much for watching.
if you find this video helpful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i see you guys in the next video for more of the video like this have a great day guys thanks again